Hi guys, it's Joanna and in today's video, I will be talking about not only long lasting, but also affordable Middle Eastern perfumes, perfect for springtime. Two weeks ago, I asked you if you would love me to do an affordable version of my best springtime perfume recommendations. So I gathered my best of the best, floral, feminine, fresh, clean, sweet, Middle Eastern perfumes to talk about in today's video. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. This video is a little bit late now, I know. It's because I was really having terrible flu and colds this past few days and it was tough for me to record a video. So if ever you hear that my voice is not really <laughs> at its best, it's because I still have um, colds. I wanted to film a spring perfume recommendation, but the feeling is wintry slash rainy still where I live. So I was waiting for that spring vibe to come for me to really feel it because i'm kind of like that like before i film a video i i also need to feel the vibe of what i'm about to talk about anyway without further ado let's get this video started i'm gonna start off with some sweet and let's just say gourmandish perfumes because in my opinion something very sweet and gourmandish is still perfect this time of the year especially if you are that type who can't let go of gourmands during the transition from winter to spring and my first recommendation will definitely be Teriyak by Latafa and guys I've been really loving this perfume lately um mm, yes it is very sweet the caramel really hits you in the face at first spray, but then as it dries down, the apricot actually comes out slowly. So you are getting some fruitiness in it as well and some just something fresh as well. I don't know if some of you get that freshness from here, but I think there is a freshness and happy vibes coming from the pink pepper here. And the final dry down is basically rose a thick honey and thick caramel sauce with that sweet vanilla as well at the same time musk the first time i got this you know that i did a review straight away because i was so excited to share with you my thoughts about this because i know that this is still a hit or miss to to a lot of you guys but for me this is a big hit and i know that a lot of you are comparing this to La Belle by John Paul Gaultier and by the way I would love to know if you would like me to do an in-depth review about the comparison of the two um, because in my opinion they are not the same maybe it gave me a La Belle vibe for like five seconds but then the dry down of this is completely different this one doesn't have any pair and guys this is just beautiful uh, the leather in the base did its magic here definitely feminine floral and sweet i highly recommend you checking this one out if you are into sweet floral fragrances okay this can be very dense because of the thickness of caramel and honey uh, that is in here this is an amazing release from the tafa created by the master perfumer kenton bish and when it comes to longevity and projection this lasts for a very very long time this was my scent of the day on easter sunday and i'm telling you guys the dress that i was wearing after wash still smells like this yeah highly recommend amazing longevity amazing scent teriyak by latafa next fragrance is for all my girlies out there who just wants to wear gourmand this springtime, I highly recommend Affection by Latafa. This is basically pistachio done into perfection, 
mixed with marshmallow cotton candy i absolutely love this fragrance and if you don't know yet this is a dupe of Kayali Yam Pistachio and in this case this perfume is better than Yam Pistachio. Guys, I highly recommend you checking this one out if you haven't already, okay? This is such an affordable fragrance and it is just beautiful. It is sweet and gourmand, however, not too cloying and not to food like perfect for spring and perfect for someone who can't let go of their gourmand perfumes during this transition period from winter to spring highly recommend this if you are into nutty pistachio and marshmallow cotton candy kind of scent that will last all day long this springtime affection by latafa now i'm gonna talk about some fruity scents and the first one under this category is the tried and tested jasmine wisp by rassassi and guys this is such an amazing fruity floral musky scent that just lasts for a very long time mm. It is so good. So this is basically um, passion fruit, mandarin orange, grapefruit, um, peach, and coconut. But at the same time, it has that deep um, amber, tonka bean, and vanilla in the base that gave this fruity perfume depth. I love, love, love this fragrance. And I think that springtime is the best time to wear this fragrance, even though this can be worn all year round. But to me, it is during this time that I pull this perfume out. Absolutely love this. And I will always recommend this one, especially if you are not into fruity scents, because this one is not your typical bubbly body mist kind of fruity scent. This has the perfect combination of amber, tonka bean, and vanilla in the base that just made this fragrance different. I am not the biggest fan of Herbapura by Zerjov and all its um, dupes. However, this one is something that I prefer. This is just perfect especially with that added creaminess of the coconut in here will always recommend it and yeah that is jasmine wisp by rasasi next up is another fruity scent for me however this is so unique and just different and this is from latafa once again and this is called lin I have reviewed this fragrance in one of my videos about rating new and viral Middle Eastern perfumes. And if you watch that, you know that I gave this fragrance a 10 out of 10. And I waited for this season to buy a bottle of this one. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. This has a very prominent green mango. Mm that lingers it is just so unique it is spicy and zesty because it has the turmeric ginger and pink pepper in the opening however as it dries down the mango which is green so imagine a little bit soury mango picking through the entire wear however you won't be smelling uh, like a green mango okay that greenness i think is controlled by the creaminess of sandalwood and musk in the base and also there is an incense here that is giving it that niche quality i love this fragrance from first sniff um i don't think this is a dupe of anything i find this fragrance very unique from latafa um, however, if I have to think of a fragrance that is similar to this perfume, it will be Dior's Jador Lore. They are not dupes, okay? It is just giving me that vibe. This is like the fruity version of that because of that prominent 
green mango in it and the osmanthus in here is just perfect to give it that sour touch but not too much love this fragrance very unique very niche um highly recommend you checking this one out if you haven't already lean by latafa such a unique mango scent now i'm gonna talk about the floral dominant perfumes okay and in my opinion this floral perfumes are good for floral haters as well because none of them are indolic and the first one that i'm going to talk about under this category is orientica's arte bellissimo romantique and if you're not yet familiar with this fragrance basically this is a delina dupe more of the delina exclusive um part because for me it doesn't have the tartness it, it has that perfect citrus in the opening but then as it dries down the rose pink penny and violet combo are peeking through and it it just made this fragrance so so beautiful it has a sweet musk and the amber in the base that is quite prominent as well but to me this is more of like rose and puny so if you love those notes you will definitely love this one or let's just say if you love delina you will definitely love this one in my opinion this is even better than delina because this guys lasts for a very long time and it doesn't just last it projects as well like almost beastly i highly highly recommend you checking this one out if you're still looking for um, a long lasting dupe of delina by performs to marley um to be honest after i got this i stopped searching for a delina dupe already because i am very happy and content with this one highly recommend orientica's arte bellissimo romantique oh next up is my newest discovery floor wood oh this fragrance was actually recommended by one of you guys i think when i made my last 10 out of 10 middle eastern fragrances and someone mentioned the channel of arahi world as she raved about this fragrance so i had to check it out and guys it's been on my radar for a very long time and it was hard to find out of stock all the time so when i saw it available in otino for around 20 something euros i didn't waste a second guys this was a blind buy and huh, this is absolutely beautiful another rose dominant fragrance however it has that sparkling vibes in it and at the same time creaminess and depth this has an invigorating tangerine in the opening so you know hence it's giving that sparkling feel in it but then it is a jammy slash powdery rose with orange blossom and jasmine it also has a pear which i think made this fragrance so unique and complete i think it's the pair that merge the sparkly and floral aspect of this perfume into such a beautiful beautiful gorgeous scent the final dry down of this is heavy in that creamy sandalwood that i adore with some roses orange blossom jasmine and some pear i absolutely love this fragrance highly recommend and need i not to mention that this lasts for a very long time as well i must say that it projects very strong for the first two hours and then it becomes moderate but guys still it's a very long lasting perfume for such an affordable price you can't go wrong with this one i know floor oud may make you think that that this is an indolic um barnyard uh kind of perfume but guys there is no hint of wood in here the florals here are definitely friendly and as mentioned it has a creamy sandalwood in the base so 
everything is just grounded into perfection not too fruity and not too floral as well love this fragrance highly highly recommend you checking this one out floor wood by Kadlaj. last fragrance i think is one of my favorite discoveries from the middle eastern perfume world this year and this is musamam white intense this one is another unique latafa scent that i haven't smelled before mm. this is your perfect tropical scent that will just make you feel beautiful and put together this spring and even summertime this again is heavy in sandalwood and it's creamy you know they have the same kind of sandalwood i think so it is creamy and this one actually has coconut note in it and the kind of florals that is in here is yellow so imagine ylang ylang so it is really giving off that tropical vibes or let's just say holiday however this doesn't give off that sunscreen feel this is a kind of tropical fragrance that can be used on a daily basis like even in an office or for date nights i absolutely love this fragrance if there is a fragrance that i can think of that is similar to this one it will be dulce and cabana's garden however they are not dupes at all um but it has the same vibe tropical creamy ylang ylang with coconut and creamy sandalwood i highly recommend you checking this one out because this over here last as well for a very long time and by the way all of the perfumes that i mentioned today are under 60 dollars or 60 euros okay that is the list for today's video how did it go have you ever tried these fragrances that i mentioned i would love to know if you agree or not now if you would like to hear my niche version of these spring fragrances i'm gonna link it down below Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye guys.